all right today we will see that how to use the multi select drop down in angular so let's start that what the required steps to install or use the multi select drop down with angular application so for that what you have to do first you have to install the required packages to for the multi select drop down so open your terminal and just use the npm i ng multi select drop down and angular version then save here i'm using angular 7 so i'm mentioning over here like angular 7 so it will install all the required packages for the drop down when the required library uh, install download then what you have to do open your app.module.ts file which is located under source then app and then app.module.ts open it and register import the multi select drop down by using this command import ng multi select drop down module i will provide this document in my description box so you can get the uh, all required steps easily so, so just import it and also declare in the imports for root and it is now it is available in your application to use the multi select drop down now what you have to do open the particular component each in which you want to display means in which page you want to display just open that ts file in that particular component N then what you have to do declare some blank array so i am declaring over here these are the blank arrays and now call the ng on init method to load or fill the drop down on initial stage so i am just copying this all code so which i will explain now now what we have done in on ng init command just fill the array with the required element which you want to display in your drop down so here i just took five elements which will be displayed in my drop down and then in another blank array what you have to do just set all the required properties which we will see one by one when we run our application and i am calling over here two methods that on item select and n on select all means what will happen if we will select all the elements so now open the html file and just remove the unnecessary code and here just declare the ng multi select drop down tag and declare all the properties like data ng model settings and on select and on select all means data data is that drop down list which we have bind over here like it will bind these elements in our drop down and the next is that model name which we have defined then settings means whatever settings we have set over here it will reflect it to the drop down like single selection means over here single selection is false means we are doing multi select drop down and id field means i drop down id then drop down text and select all text means it is the placeholder for the drop down and on unselect all text or uh, to display uh, when we unselect all the checkboxes then what will display unselect all and item show limit you can set anything like i am setting five then uh, when i select the item then is it will display five elements then allow search filter that is false so now the all the steps has been done and run, now run your application ng serve minus minus o to open the browser so when your application will run you will find one error which i will show the solution for this error after running the application if you are creating the blank application and directly use the so multi select drop down then you will face the error which i will show you see 
when you will, this error will not be displayed in the page when you will open the console by pressing the F12 then you will find that can't find to ng model since it is not a known property for ng multi selector this guys this error occurs because why because we didn't register the form model so for that what you have to do just import the form model in your app.module.ts file and app.module.ts file import and also declare in the imports and now if you will see then you will not find any error and see your drop down will display over here see whatever element we have bind will display with the checkbox if you will select particular checkbox then it will display into your uh, drop down heading so like i'm display i'm selecting all the element see now we uh, one property we set over here like item show limit so here i we have set five means five element can uh, be visible in this list if we will uh, set is three so what will happen if you will select three item then it will show the three but you will select more than what will do it will adding this plus one over here if you will add another then it will increase so this property will work for here now the allow search filter is off over here means you want to allow the search filter then you can easily set it true then it will show the search filter for that means you can search any name over here if you you are using like uh, the country drop down or else so this property is for that now it has been selected and it's all about the multi select drop down guys and you will see the console then you will find the object of the selected item like item id 1 we have selected mumbai so means we are said that on item select uh, we are uh, getting the selected item or when we select that select all then you will find in console the all item object like we we will get all the items and now we we can see that uh, we set that uh, when unselect when we will unselect all the element then it will show unselect all now the text is changed unselect all so this all about the multi select drop down guys thanks for watching if you have any query you can comment thank you